you're right. I, I hope you'll just bear with me a little while. I'm like Berman, I want to testify. <laughs> Berman, what, what year did we meet each other? You remember? 1946. <laughs> yeah. Now see, they, can't, they don't know what you're talking about, the middle of the road. But let me just tell you a little bit. That man that just got through preaching, he and I go back that far, 1946, together. That's how far we go back. And uh, I, I had uh, just got out of the Army, March the 12th, 1946. I hope you won't mind me just talking like this a little bit. Now you, let, let me just say something to you. Your boy right there, uh, Brother Cox, just met, just, just heard an old-fashioned preacher. And you kids there, and you, let me say this to you. You, you that's got children. Be sure before Brother Berman gets away, and Berman, you don't feel bad. I want you to go let him let your kids shake hands with you. Let them shake hands with you. Let them know they've just met an old-fashioned preacher. That's old country preaching. See, I can go back that far. Let me, and I'm not going to get too, I, I'm not going to delve in his life too personal. But Berman, I guess, and when he was lost, and I'm saying this with, with the, I want to say it with dignity and character. I guess Berman, this is not glorying in the flesh, Brother Bud. I'm just saying this because it's so. Uh, Berman, I guess, Brother Cape. See, I, I know we're so personal. Me and Berman and I go back so far. We preach revivals together. He'd preach one night and I'd preach the next. He'd preach one night and I'd preach the next. And uh, we made some mad, some glad, and some bad. <laughs> But uh, anyway, we go back that far together. Berman, I guess, at one time, and it's hard for you to realize and grasp now, I guess he was one of the, the men that people knew him dreaded. I'm honest to talk about dreaded to see. Just to tell the fact about it, they're scared to death to even get around him. They're scared to death. Now, you can't relate to that what you just saw. And I... And I'm just telling you something that I know is the truth. And I was one of them that dreaded to get around him. <laughs> Scared wouldn't fit how I felt about him. More, I mean mortified, dead. I'd see him in the little country churches when I'd preach. I'd see him standing out in the yard peeping in the windows. And I'd say... I never had told you this, Brother. I said, Lord, I hope that rascal doesn't come in. <laughs> He'll tear this service all to pieces. And that's the kind of fellow he was. And that day, I just a little old preacher, you know, still am, and you know, just a little. But anyway, I was driving a truck. That was my that was my job, and I was preaching, you know. And I remember one Monday morning going down the road in an eighteen wheeler. They'd sent me over across town to pick up a load of freight to drop a trailer. And I was going down a little narrow road. That big old tractor and trailer had the whole road filled up, Brother Bud. And I was going along. and I looked up the road, down the road in front of that tractor and I saw Cape coming, walking right in the middle of the road. And I said, oh, God, no. I kept saying, move over, move over, move over. And he wouldn't move. He was walking right toward me. And I wasn't, you know, I was down in low gear just easing along. And he wouldn't move. And I rolled my window up. <laughs> and I got right up and he stopped right in front of me. Wouldn't move, wouldn't get out of the way. I couldn't get by. There wasn't no way to pass him. And I'll never forget what happened. When the tractor was stopped and I was sitting there, he walked slowly around the cab. I rolled the window down, and he said, I just wanted to tell you, I got saved just <laughs> Do you remember that, Kate? <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends and buddies that long. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the kind of preaching that'll get this backslid, hellish, dirty world that we're in. It'll get us out of the mess that we're in. Come on. Come on. Now you can lay out your little ideas of theology. You can lay out your outlines and you can get everything just down pat. 
But till we get back to some old slobbering on five row preaching, we're going to stay in the mess we're in. Amen. Amen. We just need some preaching. I mean some old rab back and preach. I don't know how we got away from it, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we've got the place we think we know how. We've got the place we think we don't need God, but we need God. We got to have God. Now, I, you know, listen, I... I've watched preachers. I remember old man Tom Davis. Let me just talk a while. Old man Tom Davis. And I'm not contradicting what you said, Charlie. I agree with you 100%. But uh, how many of you know where Bonerges Baptist Church is over here? Any of you know where it's at? It's not the church it was then. Maybe I have been there in years. But I want to say to you, there's an old man. His name was Tom Davis. Drove a buggy to church. Rode behind a little, uh, a little old mare. They pulled the buggy, and I remember that old man so well. He went home with my papa Anderson Hooker and spend the. They have daytime services, and I, I'm just reminiscing a little bit right now. And they have these daytime services, and in the afternoon, that old man before we went back to church that night and said, uh, "Brother Hooker, excuse me for a little while." And he'd walk over behind the barn. And us boys wondered where he was going. And so we said one afternoon, let's just follow the old man and see where he's going. And we went over there, and sure enough, we eased around him. And after a while, the old man got back in the woods about a mile and got down on his knees. And I don't know why he'd done it, but he got a hold of a little old bush just about like that. And he began to talk to God. I mean, just like God was standing right there. And brother, heaven come down. I mean, the power. He never did know it. But I'm going to tell you right now, God was a mile deep back in them woods. Amen. And that old man went to the church. I wondered why it was so different. Now I know he got out there and called on a God he believed in. Amen. Did you know there's enough performing in our pulpit? Yes, We've got too much of this just impressing people yes. with our diction and, and with our how now brown cow. Yes. We, oh God help us. Did you know preachers, I'm going to lay the blame at our feet. Amen. Amen. Yes, brother. That's right. yes. I'm laying the blame at our feet. My friend, the the reason our world's in the shape it's in, we just got away from old time. Holy Ghost, God sent heaven blue preaching. Amen. How many of you, listen, some of you older, I was saved in her preaching like that. How many of you others were? Did you know we've got the place today our modern preachers don't believe in conviction? They don't believe in it no more. And I don't believe a man can get saved till he's Holy Ghost convicted. I don't believe you'll come to know God till you're Holy Ghost. Listen, do you know? I, do you know what I'm talking about? How many of you re- listen? How many of you remember that blessed day that God? Oh, if I can just get this across to you. Some of you don't know, looking at me like you do, but I, I was. I was brought under a knowledge and a consciousness of my sin by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It was an awesomeness. It was an awareness. I saw myself going to hell. Amen. And now then we just have little sermonettes for Christianettes. Little prayerettes. Bless him, Father. We have air condition, but they had prior condition. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Come on. I remember, and I'm go. I can go back. Burma and I can go back a long way. I remember when they. I remember before they started calling. I remember when they started calling benches pews. First time I ever heard them say we had to get new pews over at the church. I thought they had something rotten over there. Pew. 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 
I got another word I want to throw at you. How many of you remember the word mourner's bench? Yeah. 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 <coughs> did you know what? Some of you can't see where I'm. Did you know there's people here who couldn't wait, raise their hands? Right. That's right. That's right. Right. They don't want a mourner's bench in. Right. Well, you said that's had its day. No, it hadn't. Yeah. It's not had its day. Yeah. Did you know what? Listen to me. I travel all the time. And I remember, I remember used to when they had maybe a couple of three mourners benches in the church. But nowadays, I never laugh at it. I go into churches where they've got a little bitty bench about that long and a pot of flowers sitting on it. <laughs> Amen. I'm seeing churches now, the only thing they use their baptistry for is to store the Christmas decorations in. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Somebody. Right, Go back there, and the only halos you see is in the baptistry. <laughs> you don't know. Some of you are looking at me, huh? What's he talking about? I'm talking about a day that's gone that we need back. Amen. 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 I watched you folks last night. There was a time when somebody got saved. The whole church was anxious to get to him and said, oh, I'm so glad you got in. Amen. There was a day when we talked about people praying through. Amen. Amen. But you know, I know what they're talking about when they say pray through. It's not just some I way snatched that word back there. I remember that day when I saw my consciousness of sin and my awareness of sin and saw myself in that pinnacle condition that I was. I want to tell you right now, it wasn't the prayer yet that I needed. I needed to touch God. Amen. I didn't know how to pray. Tim, did you know how to pray? All I knew that I was lost and going to hell. And it wasn't fancy words that I said. It was a cry coming out of my soul. Down in here. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Save me. I don't want to die like the shape I'm in. I was a trembling like a leaf. I was a trembling all over. I, oh God, I was in awful shape. And I cried out, oh, oh God, save me. And you laugh if you want to. But all of a sudden, heaven broke in my soul. And I knew God had come in and washed my sins away. And made me a new creature. And I was born to heaven when I died. And you know what? There's a bunch of old people gathered around me. And they had song books, and I was down on my knees. And they're singing. They fanned me with those song books. And they're singing an old song that said, Oh, do not let the word depart. And close thine eyes against the light. Poor sinner, harden not your heart. Be saved, oh, tonight. Oh, why not tonight? Oh, why not tonight? Oh, tonight. Be saved, then why not tonight? That I didn't have a dry birth. I didn't have a little bitty pst, pst. <laughs> You want me to tell you it got on around there. And you know the thing about it? I never have got over it. Never have. Oh my. 
Amen, brother. Bless your heart. Folks say, you're odd. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I sure am, man. <laughs> A lot of folks say, you're weird. And I said, uh-huh. <laughs> But our churches are packed full of people like zombies. I remember when I was a little boy. Do you folks remember the medicine shows that used to... Now, you oh, you kids don't know. You can't relate, so don't sit there and act like you do. But back when I was a kid, we had medicine shows. You do, don't you, John? And they'd come through, you know, their little old tents and... They'd got them a little old movie projector. Back in them days, you could, you could go to the movies. The only indecent thing was the cowboy kissed the horse, you know. <laughs> but they'd bring them a little medicine shows into the little towns and villages and stop down at the creek and dip up some water in a bottle and bring it into town and sell it for the wonder drug. <laughs> It'd grow higher than anything. <laughs> Stop rheumatiz. Come <laughs> back, yeah, Bill. Stop now. Take warts off. <laughs> and they'd set up them little old movies, you know, and they'd show you part of it and then they'd cut it off. And sell their medicine. Now you had to come back the next night to see the rest of the movie. <laughs> then they'd sell some. Took them all week to show that cotton picking thing. But I, I don't know why I remember it. But they had one little movie I never will forget. They called it The Lost City. <laughs> it was this scientist He'd follow hearses to the graveyards and when they buried somebody, he'd dig them up and if he needed a head, he'd cut a head off. And he was taking it back to his laboratory and building him a man. And he'd build a bunch of them. And he'd put arms on them and you know, and he'd lay them on this contraption and turn some juice to them. You'd see a little lightning just running here and there. And he'd throw a switch and they'd get up off of that table and they went around like this all the time. <laughs> the only thing they'd ever say was, Yes, Master. <laughs> <laughs> and I never will forget, I'd run home every night, scared to death, afraid that I'd meet one of them saying, Yes, Master. <laughs> But you know, I never did until God called me to preach. And put me to pastor in a Baptist church and there he was. Saying, yes, pastor. But now then they've got a little more intelligent. They've tucked their arms down and said, we ain't going to do it. Yes. <laughs> but listen to me. Are you listening? I'm not talking about just digressing. I'm talking about a moving, not backwards, but forward. God said, hey, draw nigh to me. Yeah. Yeah. Then he made a promise. I will draw nigh to you. May I be critical with compassion? I mean, there's a difference in being smartly critical and being critical with compassion. There's a difference in just smarting off and saying something with a cutting edge that will help you later. Our churches, and I say the word church with reverence, thank God for His blessed church. Thank God for His wonderful church. 
that he loved and gave himself for it. And that he's come back after it. But may I say with deep reservation, I wonder today, does he look down upon us and recognize us as churches? When our music has jungle beats, you know one of the most beautiful sights in any congregation is when you see people, ladies reaching in their purses, men look reaching in their pockets. You want to bless a preacher to death, you let him see those handkerchiefs. Amen. 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 Am I right, folks? Amen. But our music has turned into. Amen. Let me say something to you. I believe there ought to be a reverence in our singing. Amen. Help me. Brethren, we have met to worship and adore the Lord our God. Will you pray with all your power while we try to preach the word? All is vain unless the Spirit of the Holy One come down, brethren, pray and holy man will be showered all around. How firm a foundation ye saints of the Lord is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he has said, you who unto Jesus for refuge have fled. Amen. My old grandmama that's gone on to heaven used to sit on the porch in the evening and sing. What wondrous yes. love is this, O oh my soul. Oh my soul, what wondrous love is this that calls my soul to bliss when I was sinking down, sinking down, sinking down when I was sinking down Christ laid aside his crown for my soul for my soul you may be satisfied with your push button services I'm not I long I hope for a time when God's people will get together again and worship Him who is all together loved. Yeah. 
Did you know in our churches we have so much hatred and yeah. 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 envy and strife yes. and division yes. among us? Oh, I hope that some of you young folks are getting what's happening here this morning. Yeah. Right. Little old boy right there hadn't took his eyes off of me since I've been preaching. The little girls looking at me. Preachers, God help us. And I don't fuss at you for study. Help you study, study. Keep on studying. Cram this book in you. But after you're just full and you're full, ask God to take what He's put in you and bring it out. Oh, so simple that little old kids can understand. And not just to show them how much Greek or Hebrew or Latin you know. But oh, ask God to touch you and bring out of you that what He wants us to know. Preachers, can I can I say this? I'm your senior by many years. You younger preachers sometimes. Don't be critical, old man, you know. Old cape. I got that on tape. <laughs> I got that on tape. But listen to me, preachers. Please listen to me. Please. You said I outline. That's fine. I do too. Usually lose my outline, but I, I But go ahead and study and prepare, and I think you ought to. I believe you ought to. But don't ever get so smart you don't need God. Don't ever get so smart you don't need God. When you do that, you turn into a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Just a bunch of nothing. Did you know you could even get up sometimes and quote and be impressive and God not be in a million miles? I remember, I got about two or three more minutes. I remember one time. See, a lot of folks ask me, they, and I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not. I, God forbid. Now, don't let me say it, Lord, if I am. But I have an honorary doctorate's degree. That's, that's an honorary degree. It was given to me. I never ordered it. I never bought it. Nobody. I, I, it just given to me. But I remember a young man one time saying to me, he said, Preacher, uh, B.R. Lakin said they asked him the same thing, and I like it. Must have been the same man. <laughs> asked me, he said, uh, can you preach any better since you got your degree? And I remember what B.R. Lakin said. He said, does it make any difference since you got your degree? And B.R. Lakin said, does a curl in a pig's tail make it any more hog? <laughs> <laughs> Just pig. Just pig. And may I say to you, right? I went back to. <laughs> that lady's getting a kick out of that. <laughs> I went back to a church where I preached as a boy preacher one time. And I never will forget. A fellow met me in the door. Oh, he said, Are you the same old Ed Blue you used to be? I said, Oh, no. He said, You're not. No, no. I don't believe you ought to ever stand still. I believe you ought to grow in grace and the knowledge of the truth. There's a growing process and a training process and a learning process. But the one thing you better learn to do is to lean on Jesus. Amen. You better lean on him. I'm here. Are you, are, are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you just looking at me politely? Yeah. Hide his word in your heart. Yeah. Get it in there. Get it in there. Pour it in there. Memorize it. But that old-fashioned preacher that you heard, okay. Yes. You younger boys get around men like him. Yeah. Ask him questions. Yes. Talk to him. Yeah. The Bible said, all I get him, get wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom's just not a head full of book learning. No, sir. No, it's not. Yeah. I believe some of you are listening at me. Yeah. Let's get back to God. 
get back to God. And if you get like I do sometimes, it, it, it takes some doing to get back to God. I want to ask you a question. Do you ever just feel so backslid you don't even feel like you can pray? Huh? You ever get down on your knees and can't pray? And let me ask you a preacher something. You ever get up in the pool pit and can't preach? Hey Amen. I do. I'm sorry, but I just got to tell the truth. I've got up and, and I prayed and I studied and tried to get ready. But I wouldn't let God take over. No. I'd try to hit my point, my sub points, you know. But sometimes God wants you to just to get loose. Right. Get loose. Yes. <laughs> well, all right. Cape, you all right? I'm good try, man. All right. <laughs> I want you to come up here, Cape. Come on up here, son. Widen that lens, huh, David. I'm we're going to walk down there, all right. I'm ready to go. Me too. That's what I'm waiting on. Me too. <laughs> I love you, boy. I love you too, brother. Love you. Been good. All the way down. Me and brother Ed been friends and never had a cross cross Never been mad. I tell you, the love of God will lead you together. Yes, he does. He's got an old fighting spirit in heart. I can say this, brother. Ken, I can go home and lay down. He got nothing against nobody. Life's too sweet and heaven's too sweet to have in the bitterness. Anyway, there you go, brother. The older I get, praise God, the sweeter gets me. <laughs> well, I, I want to stand here with me. I want to stand here with you. You know, me and you used to be the young boy, but we're the seniors now. <laughs> Getting on up in the road. You're how old? I'm Going on 69. 69. But I don't feel that old. You way. don't. <laughs> I'm 64. But uh, you know we're almost home. Anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, I can feel the breeze from another <laughs> one. I once in a while I hear a rustling in the motor. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said you hear that sound that just came out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Now keep you keep beating me there. You tell them I'm on the way here. <laughs> you know my mama and daddy. Yeah. I know all of them. Your daddy used to sign the back on his feet like this and bring that song. Right? Yeah. Mama, you know, she's a little bitty four by four, but the daughter, she's wrong. Yeah. You remember when she gets happy and shouting? Yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> well, that's real. Yeah, it is. I'm just telling these young folks. See, I believe, I believe this old world needs this old-fashioned way, don't you? Yes, amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Yes!
You know, some of you right here right now may need to. You say, well, I wonder why. Well, maybe, maybe you've got a cold. Maybe, maybe you need a touch of God. Yeah. Maybe some of you preachers need just to get down before God and yeah. ask God to put His hand on you. Yeah. Give yeah. Him back that power yeah. you used to have. Yeah. Let you cry some more. Yeah. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe some families need to get on their knees. Maybe mothers and daddies and daughters and sons need to keep it. Do come on right now. Amen. If you just need to do it, come on. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh. You said they ain't got no music. Don't need them. Oh, they don't need them. Oh, Amen. Amen. Maybe you just need God to touch you. To yeah. put a good fiery testimony Amen. in your heart. Yeah. Come on, if you do. Yeah. Just come on. Amen. 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 Oh, we've had too much programming and too much yeah. of this song so just get to God. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Just get up if you need to do it. And get on your knees here and have a good little talk with Jesus. That's the way. Get your pride. Slaughter it. Get rid of it. Just come and get out before you. Ask God to do something special for you. Maybe this is the very hour God's had you here this week for. Amen. Amen. Maybe this is what God wants for. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Maybe you just need to do it. Instead of that play a little music. No, it ain't music in there. Oh, it's God touching your old Amen. 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 Oh, when shall I see Jesus bring his home high? And from that glowing mountain brings everlasting life. Take somebody by hand right now, I love you. No.
may we leave with a consciousness that he said this is the way you walk in and our fathers we go to partake of physical food I pray your blessings may upon be upon them yes. and help folks to realize the importance and the preciousness of fellowship yes. have people that don't know each other's name to walk up and say I want to tell you who I am and I want to meet you God help us not to be clannish help us not to be cliquish help us to be a family dear old boy yes. God help us God give us preachers not a compromising spirit but a sweet spirit yes. God don't let us have smart in attitude God give us tender compassionate spirits I confess Lord there's been times I've not been not been the preacher I ought to be. But Lord, help me to be sweet, not compromising, but sweet, compassionate. Bless us now as we assemble food and touch it. And then bless us tonight as we gather back to at the tent. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh.